the biggest things that I experienced this year was heartbreak. I had a really good relationship in an adult relationship, but we knew early on that the way that we love and we share love and we receive love was different. I think other heartbreaks that I experienced were more uh, kid-like, like more immature, and this was an, a mature adult relationship of two human beings, like, you know, trying to live life together. We had a lot of the same upbringings, so the same morals, the same ethics, Catholic school, our families, kind of the same thing, strict mom, and, you know, a dad that was kind of crazy and wild, but artistic in some way. And so we had the same upbringing, so it was great that the base and the foundation was like we were always on the same page. And I think that was just such an amazing place to start. The most difficult part of the separation was definitely that that's my best friend and my family. Like the last couple years, I haven't been that close to my own family um, because of different reasons. And so it was always her. It was always her and I. And so it's just, it's just hard losing the person that's been your like number one for years, you know? And I decided to take a break and um, you know, move out completely and separate ourselves a little bit for us to have our individual growth because we both got to a point where we were kind of stepping on each other a little bit and hindering that growth for each other. People always say, well, how do you get over this person? It's so hard. I love this person so much. And when I talk to people, a lot of times they can tell me like right away, they're like, I'm like, okay, so tell me about the relationship. And a lot of times they automatically go to all the negative. And so when they go to all the negative, this happened, this happened, but we were great, but this happened and this happened, and it was awesome, but this happened and this happened. And then I'm just like, you just showed me that the cons outweigh the pros. And so it's like, you need to remember what you deserve and look at that list and focus on those cons. And every time you miss that person or you wanna be back with that person, you need to remember all this negative stuff that happened that made you feel it uh, terribly and remember what you deserve. Oh my gosh, I spent too much time in my life in relationships thinking and hoping that they could be better, uh, like too much, or feeling bad that I'm gonna let this person go and thinking that they're gonna be heartbroken, so just hang on a little bit longer because you, you, I, I would feel bad for them. I spent too much time. Like, majority of my life was spent in relationships and 95% of them, I was there way too long. And uh, that's one thing that I've, I've really noticed, especially with this last relationship that I've really put my foot down. I'm like, wait, I'm not gonna keep doing this to myself. I love this person, but I love myself more and I need more. And so I'm gonna get out of this because I know what I deserve now.